Hello, who are you and where are you from? Well, my name is Czesław Szerszeń. I go by Adam. It's much more easier to stay in the United States and use my middle name. I was originally born in Poland. I traveled the world and finally I settled down in the United States and I am a US citizen. I'm very grateful for, you know, giving me this chance to become one and uh, I simply enjoy my life right now traveling. And uh, we are here in Mendocino, California. Absolutely. And um, so has the climate changed much since you were a kid? Oh, absolutely. I think that uh, actually, you know, the climate change has been politicized very much so. Uh, being Polish and living in under communist, uh, you know, regime, I definitely, you know, lean t towards right, but uh, I cannot deny that climate change is real. And you told me before the interview that you used to uh, used to play hockey, and they used to put the water on small ponds for yeah, hockey. Yeah, and, and I was uh, those born and raised in Poland, so you know, as a kid, let's say, before starting my grammar school, it was very common uh, thing in Poland. Each and every you know school actually pours the water like end of October, beginning of November, so the kids could use it and, you know, play hockey, do skating, etc. And, uh, you know, I stay in Poland till uh, I was 22, but, you know, within this period of 15 years, uh, uh, you know, definitely the weather has changed. And when I was leaving Poland when I was 22, Practically, if you pour water in November, expecting to you know create a skating ring, it was uh, almost funny because the weather has changed dramatically, and you couldn't even have, let's say, a couple of solid weeks of temperatures under you know freezing point. So practically, this uh, practice was abandoned. And you moved around quite a bit, and you yeah, saw the same was, happening in Russia. Right? Yeah, yeah, I was, uh, you know, I moved to Russia. Uh, when I was 32 years old, uh, right now I'm 63, so you can do the math when it was, but it was like 1992, 94. And uh, actually, you know, when I went to Russia, it was kind of a weird experience because I felt like, you know, pre-communist Poland, it was a time when, the, you know, Russia was, fo you know, Fe Russian Federation was falling apart. But one of the things which I noticed, it was the same habit of, you know, Russian school kids doing the same thing in neighborhoods and school, uh, you know, pouring the water end of October, even earlier, because, you know, it was much more colder climate and doing the same thing which we've done in Poland, let's say 20 years ago, you know, creating this uh, skating rings and uh, so they could, you know, go skating and play hockey. But, uh, you know, as time passed and I spent, you know, in Russia more or less like 20, 22, 22 years, uh, I noticed the same thing. You know, as time passed, uh, less and less people get involved in, you know, creating the skating rings because the temperature couldn't stay, uh, you know, below freezing point for longer than, let's say, two, three weeks, even though when I got to Russia, let's say, you know, in mid-90s, I mean, you had a solid, solid uh, temperatures under, uh, you know, freezing point for three months through. It, nobody was even considering, you know, that it could change. And uh, what about uh, what about now? Uh, do you, do you con are you concerned about weather on a, on a sorry climate on a regular basis and on a scale of one to ten, ten being the most concerned? How concerned would you say you are? Uh, you know what, I will tell you sincerely, I am not concerned at all. Maybe it can surprise you, but uh, uh, in my opinion, I can do zero regarding this issue. I think that the uh, entire world is uh, run by greed, and greed always wins if you look through all the centuries of, you know, so-called our civilization. Uh, we weren't, you know, ruled by wisdom. We were ruled by greed. You know, the more greedy we became, the better you are off. And, you know, average person who thinks that can do something like a small dent, maybe you can do a dent, but not more than that. You know, rich people will always move to places if even, you know, the sea level will rise 
they have enough money to move to another place. I mean, as always, the uh, average person will pay the price. And uh, so, um, what about the future? Um, are you an optimist? Or do you think things will uh, uh, work themselves out? Or are you a pessimist and you th think it might be uh, disastrous in the future? And is there anything we can do about it? Well, I, you know, I'm not, I just take the things the way they go. I don't think that I'm optimistic or pessimistic. I think that uh, I personally can do very little or nothing, even if I try, because the money rules the world. So, you know, if, let's say, somebody would come out with things where you can make money, big bucks, on, you know, climate change, it will be pushed forward, otherwise not. Very good. All right. Well, thank you very much on this day, the 3rd of April, here in Mendocino, California. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. Thank you, sir. Thank you.